in this video i am going to explain how to create the compound gate right now let us uh, uh, enter the model name compound underscore gear so this is a compound gate right so i given the title compound underscore gear apply click okay now let us see that compound gate our title is displayed here now we want to create the uh, point table create the point table now i want six uh, three shafts so the six points are required so i created six points now the first point i given z value is 100 and second point z value is minus 100 and third point x value is 48 y is 0 and z value is plus 100 and point 4 the x value is 48 and z value is minus 100 point 5 x value is 104 and z value is plus 100 point 6 x value is 104 and z value is minus 100 for all the remaining the y values are kept it 0 now apply click ok now see that all the points are created if you want to see go to the isometric queue and fit to the window just it, the entire points are window now create the shaft go for this radius i am making uh, 10 then select this uh, uh, point horizon point and the second horizon point in between the point the shaft is created with the 10 mm diameter similarly for the second shaft you can create and third shaft also you can create with the same dimension now this is a wireframe model you make it shed this a uh, solid model with different colors are created now we we'll go for the connectors revolute joints you can select the part 2 and ground and assign the center point thus the joint is assigned similarly for the second shaft ground and the part 3 you see that once mouse is move somewhere the, uh, the part 3 is highlighted then click then select the uh, point where you want to keep the joint similarly for this uh, part 4 and click the ground then assign this point then that uh, joint is assigned now three shafts revolute joints are assigned <coughs> next go for the machinery now we want to create the gates because this is a compound gate two gate sets are well, we want to create now i am going for the spar go to the next then detailed just next and uh, i am giving the module is a two now i assign the name of the gates first is the input uh, gear input underscore gear one input underscore gear one and for the second gear similarly you can assign the output underscore gear one so this is the input and output combination for the first output underscore gear one now the center location so first shaft is uh, all zero 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 x only that uh, second uh, shaft x value is changed to 48 and now i am keeping the number of teeth is 16 and 32 the ratios are made uh, 2 and gear width i am keeping 13 and bore radius of both the gears i am keeping 10 10 then go to the next button and you can see that all the values by default values next now here gear 1 i fixed and that assigned to the part 2 then go to the gear 2 again so fixed and assigned to the part 3 you can see that now the gears are rigidly fixed to those respective shafts then click finish see that uh, the two combination of the gears are uh, created now similarly create the next set of gears again you can click it and uh, this was, uh, uh, for detailed and the detailed you can uh, again you can the module is change it to 2 and here gears names you can assign here it is a uh, uh, for the second input underscore the gear 2 ok gear 2 next output underscore gear 2 but this is the second set of combinations now the center location for this uh, input gear center location x is 48 and y is shifted to 50 m towards positive so now keep x is 48 and uh, y value 0 z value is uh, 50 plus 50 Similarly, for second gear, the x value is 104 and y value is 0, z value is plus 50. That we can enter in the center location. Now we can enter the center location 104, y value is 0, z value is plus 50. And here I am taking the number of teeth is uh, ratio is 3, so 14 and 42. So the ratio is kept 3. 
Okay, any ratio you can use it, but center distance is required. That's good. Here also keep the bore radius same 10 10 and go to the next uh, uh, button click all the details will be displayed okay you see that all this density and modulus poisons will be displayed for a particular material go to the next here also you can fix it the gears so the gear one here go for the fixed and it assigned to the part three assigned to the part three next click the part three okay then you can go to the uh, gear 2 then you go to the gear 2 and uh, select the fixed one and in this go for the part 4 so 3 and 4 combination next click the next button and finish it the second set will be created let us see so now see that the second set of gears are created okay now you are created so now that uh, motion we want to give okay now go to the joint one the first shaft modify click the modify then and here you can see that force display you can select the on first body then impose motions and impose motions here going to select the displacement and enter 60d and apply and click ok 60d apply click ok here also apply click ok so now the motion is assigned now verify the simulation go for the simulation and select this icon and you can see that some settings whatever settings yeah, here i'm uh, I'm, uh, I'm using the forever so continuous rotation step size i'm giving 0 0.01 for small rotations for clear understanding once verify here it's verified successfully then go to the uh, simulation now you can see that the input gear uh, uh, and shaft is rotating that is connected to the second shaft and gear that is rotating okay and second shaft is uh, on the same shaft another okay now you want an analysis you can go for the load the animation and here you can select uh, the bodies objects first clip okay the body so now i am going this uh, output to gear one okay uh, what are the or uh, this part 2 you can select or part 3 you can select ok now i want to verify that what is the angular velocity and angular acceleration these two i want to select first angular velocity magnitude add car and uh, in the second uh, uh, window i will go for the angular acceleration magnitude add car now you can verify that that see that how the simulation is going on and corresponding these uh, uh, what is the angular velocity of the second gear what is the angular acceleration that also you can verify like this uh, the several combinations you can verify 